In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to get the hour from a date time object in SQL Server. So the first thing to know is how to get the date, and we can use the getDate function. So the getDate function returns the current date and time. Now let's get the hour from this. So we can easily get the hour using the date part function. We pass in the first parameter, the hour, and the second parameter is the getDate function. And this will return the hour. Now let's see how we can retrieve the hour from a column value. So here's a quick query to get some of the records from one of my databases. It does have a date time in it. So date updated is a date time and it has both a date and an hour. So now we modify this query and add in a column for just the hour value. So the query is about the same. We just add this here. So we use date part again, passing in hour and date updated, which is the actual column, which has a date time value in it. Let's see how this works. Hour updated is the hour part from the date updated column. Just be aware that not all date times actually contain a time part. For example, in the AdventureWorks sample SQL Server database, these date times don't actually have any time part. I hope you found this SQL tutorial useful. Subscribe for more and thanks for watching.